plays on SportsCenter TV. Man, you just watched the Look concentration. The ball does not hit the ground. Yeah, that should make a top ten highlight. Ah, yes, football. One of America's favorite pastimes. Ever since the founding of the NFL in the 1920s, the fan base surrounding professional football has grown exponentially. The hard work, dedication, thrill, and competition is what helped make professional football so entertaining. Fortunate for us, we have that sort of great entertainment right here on campus in the SLU Lions football team. We were able to meet up with a few of the football players to see how their season is going. Here's what they had to say. This is Taylor Rubach reporting for KSLU at Southeastern. I'm here with strong safety Tyler Stoddard for the Lions football team. What do you think y'all need to improve on most on the field? I think we need to work on finishing the games. I think we uh, come out strong and go ahead early. But if we work on finishing, you know, we can close it out earlier than we have been. You know, when it feels good all around campus, in the locker room, and uh, it's, it, it's a change from the past couple of years. And I think it, it changes the whole environment. How does it feel to be chosen as a College Sports Journal All-Freshman team in the 2011-2012 football season? It really felt good. I had a, uh, an opportunity to come play here as a freshman. And, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting any honors. And whenever I heard that I got that, that it really, uh, really made me excited. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Jordan. Tyler? Homecoming. Let's go Lions. <laughs> Gain of one, second and nine. Ball to 19. Here's a bubble. Here's Ch Chaney. Cuts inside to the 10, to the 5. Breaks a tackle. Dives through the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. What a drive by Southeastern. 75 yards in methodical fashion. And uh, Chaney ignites this Lion crowd. This is Michael Colon here, reporting for KSLU, talking to quarterback Jordan Barnett for the Southeast Alliance. Jordan, how does it feel to be 3-0 in a conference so far this year? Uh, it feels great. Um, it's, a, it's definitely new. It's, a, it's definitely a new experience. Um, we had high expectations for this year, and I think it's going to work. Um, I feel like we need to improve on being more consistent through four quarters. So there you have it. The SLU Lions football team is on fire this season. But will that fire be enough to push them all the way to a conference title? Only time will tell. The game with six catches and 96 yards. Next play, Stanley sneaks into the end zone, 14-10 McNeese with 10 minutes left in the quarter. But the Cowboys would answer. Stroud to Murray, 26 yards in. Murray making Lions miss all over the field. 24-10 at the half. Game over, right? Wrong. Chaney, two yards out, puts the score 24-17, McNeese still up. With two minutes left in the fourth, Stanley finds Fruge again just to keep the drive alive. On fourth and goal, Nathan Stanley finds Taylor Jenkins all alone in the end zone. And is he happy? But the Lions got to go for two to win the game. Michael Chaney from two yards out, 25-24, Lions are up. But McNeese wants to score again, and Robert Alford is having none of it. The one-hand kick, he seals the game up for the Lions, 25-24. The Lions take a big win at Strawberry Stadium. <laughs> Thank you. 